Kailan matapos yung ano nyo? Sa, depende po sir sa availability po ng investigator natin. Sir. Hindi. Sinong investigator you're referring to? Ano? PSMS uh, Castro, sir. Ten people a day. You talk to him. And uh, you submit the timeline within today. Yes, Your Honor. Kung kailan matapos. Yes, Your okay. Honor. Mr. Chair, hindi dapat yung based on the availability of the, ano, <laughs> hindi dapat ganun. I think they need to set a date and we, it's required of them to produce these CCTV clips to the committee. So I don't think it should be subject to the availability of the one that will be doing the assessment and examination. So I think we need to request them to make this guy available to do the examination and the assessment of these video clips, Mr. Chair. Yes, Your Honor, as soon as possible, po. Thank you. Anyway, uh, let me proceed, Mr. Chairman, to the PRA. Reclamation permit issued to Mr. Maestro Rental Sun and Gravel Corporation owned by Mr. Tony Young. This was requested by uh, Chairman Dan Fernandez. Oh, yung PRA nandito ba? Wala dito? Oh, anyway, please uh, follow up and report to this committee come check within the day. Within the day po. Then for the PSS, PSSL AI, PSS LI, records of accounts under the name of Police Colonel Garma for follow-up. Nandito ba yung PSS? Ay, 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 ay. For the information of the members of this committee and to the lead chair, we have received a copy of uh, a reply letter coming from uh, Police Major General Lucas Man Managilod, retired chairman and CEO. And in this letter, let me read na lang, Mr. Chairman, portion of it. Under Section 6 of the Revised Non-Stock Savings and Loan Association Act of 1997, or RA non number 8367, inquiry into or disclosure deposits of whatever nature is expressly prohibited unless it meets specific exceptions. These deposits are considered as of one absolute, absolutely confidential nature and may not be examined, inquired, or looked into by any person, government official, Bureau of Office. None of the exemptions mentioned in the law appears to obtain in this instance. To wit, written permission to the depositor in cases of impeachment, upon order of the competent court in cases of bribery or the reelection of duty of public officials, or in cases where the money deposited and invested is the subject matter of litigation. The law further provides that any official or employer of an association who violates Section 6 thereof shall be punished under Republic Act Number 1405 or the Bank Secrecy Law. So, Mr. Chairman, the gist of this reply is all about uh, the Bank Secrecy Law, Republic Act Number 1405. So, AMLAC, Comsec is AMLAC present. Amlak. Are you familiar with this document being requested? Are you present during the previous hearing? Uh, yes. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Yes, we were present, Your so, Honor. So, Mr. Chairman, we will just consult. I think we have to uh, expedite the discussion on admin matters. I rather suggest that we submit this to uh, the AMLAC for further study, Mr. Chairman, and direct the Comsec to follow up for the re reply of AMLAC with regards to this uh, issue and letter from PSS Lai. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will do so with dispatch, Your Honor. Okay. I'll photocopy now. I'll photocopy it, then we'll get to that. You are now in inquire. LRA is present. LRA, Comsec, they were not invited. Anyway, for you to follow up lang, all the titles under the name of Antonio M. Lim Aka Tony Young. Please follow up na lang po and report to this committee within the day. And also to the PNP Special Investigation Task Group, SITG, 
uh, si IDG. Andito naman po si General Torre. Jen, you were ordered to submit records of investigation on the ambush of former PCSO Board Secretary Attorney Wesley Barayoga. They have submitted na. Today. Just today. Oh, but nakalagay dito follow up pa. Ah. Follow up. Anyway, Jen, uh, you have already submitted. And please, pag may mga ano pa, may mga supplementary documents, pakipadala na lang po with regards to Wesley Barrioga case. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, I have with me today, sir, the whole case folder ready to, to be submitted to the National, National Prosecution Service upon the signature of uh, any private complainant, sir. Uh, that could be Mrs. Barayuga, but uh, her, we are still coordinating with her, considering that uh, her location is still... Uh, I will not disclose the current location, sir. We are in talks with her, and upon signature, sir, we already filed a case with the National Prosecution Service. Thank you. Uh, kindly update on this committee with regards to all those, uh, no? Yes, sir. With the cases, no? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, for the DOJ and NBI to conduct and submit the Joint Committee on Intensive Investigation on the ABUS. Ito related din kay, uh, kay General Barrioga. NBI? Yes, sir. In fact, uh, we have uh, taken the, uh, statement, uh, the statements of the, uh, the alleged uh, hit, uh, the uh, Major uh, San Senti and uh, we are coordinating also with uh, the CIDG, and I think uh, the DOJ has uh, called for a meeting with regards to this uh, case, uh, Mr. Chair. So, paki ano lang po, paki update na lang, no? In, yes, Mr. Chair. Please update this committee through the ComSec na lang po. Thank you. Yes. Now, with regards to the the pictures, no? on the money changer in which uh, Police Captain Anuba was referring to during the previous hearing. Pictures was already submitted. Correct, Comset. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you have time, Mr. Chairman, we'll just show it in today's hearing. Now, and lastly, Mr. Chairman, Uh, Comsec is directed to coordinate with Okada with regards to the slot machine winning worth of 1 million of Tony Yang on September 17, 2024. Comsec, what's the status? Sir, I still have to schedule the visit to Okada. You have, you still have to? You, I still have to schedule my visit to Okada, sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. As of now, oh, that's all, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Congressman Paduano. Before we proceed, uh, let me acknowledge the presence of our former Congressman, Honorable Antonio Tino and Honorable Ariel Casilao, who is also present, and uh, Father Joel Sabalia, Father Joselito Sarabia, and Father Christian Sambahon. Welcome to the committee hearing of uh, the Quadcom. Yes, Congressman uh, Abante. Uh, we shall now be starting to uh, interpolate, no? So I would like now to call on Mr. Kerwin Espinosa uh, to appear before this committee so that he can be asked questions concerning his... Uh, his He, Mr. Chair, he also uh, uh, submitted to us itong sinumpaang salaysay. So we would like to ask him to uh, uh, just tell us his story no, to this uh, committee before any questions can be asked. So may I now please call Mr. Kevin Spinoza. Okay, Paige, paki-assist uh, mo nga, uh, paki Dala dito si Mr. Kerwin Espinosa. Gentlemen, yes, uh, just uh, nakaligtaan ko lang po. While waiting for the presence of uh, Kerwin Espinosa, 
Let me ask Mr. Chairman if uh, nandito naman po si Colonel Bilila. Uh, your wife was invited in today's hearing. Is she present? Uh, as agreed, Your Honor, uh, isubmit ko yung mga requirements. Hindi na siya pupunta, Your Honor. Nagbabantay ng mga bata. Maliit so you na. have submitted now? Yes, Your Honor. To the Comsec? Yes, Your Honor. Comsec, do you confirm that uh, Colonel Bilila submitted all the documents being required to him? Yes, sir. Kailan na po? Um, today, he submitted uh, the SALN and uh, other documents. He, the bank waiver he already signed last time. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. But of course, it, uh, Colonel Bilila, uh, we have committed to you with regards to that, but uh, of course, we have to check first now. And uh, if we are satisfied with regards to documents, you have... Uh, uh, submitted to this committee, so we might not as well invite your wife in the next hearing. But of course, if we have still uh, questions with regards to that document to you, uh, we might uh, invite her again in the next hearing. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Denpo. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Congressman Paduano. Uh, Paige, can you please... Uh uh, siguro si Colonel Barandog, si Colonel Patay, si Colonel Grijaldo, si Colonel Petalio. Uh, can you just uh, please occupy the seats on the right side uh, while we ask uh, first si Mr. Kerwin Espinosa uh, to take the seat. Uh, in the meantime, uh, lunch will be served. This will be a working lunch. So... Uh, Paige, can you also provide copies of the affidavit uh, executed by Mr. Kerwin Espinosa sa lahat po ng ating mga uh, membro ng committee ito? Again, Mr. Chairman, uh, with the indulgence of the members and the chair, since uh, we're still waiting for Kerwin, may nakaligtaan na po. This is so important, uh, as important as uh, to the matters being discussed a while ago. Mr. Chairman, to the CIDG, General Torre, May I ask what's the status of um, the rest order for Mr. Roy Gomez, Eddie Young, and uh, the Pangilinan spouses? Thank you, sir. Uh, I have with me here the records for the implementation of the contempt order for Eddie Young. Roy Gomez and the Pangilinan Spouses. May mga latest kami, sir, na we are still on tracking these people, sir. Um, no excuses, sir, but uh, we haven't found them yet. However, the last uh, effort that we had is we had, record, uh, we had conducted records check on their various businesses and possible locations. Uh, rest assured, sir, the CIDG is doing all its um, F is doing all the efforts and uh, pouring in resources for the arrest of these people. And maybe uh, within a week or two, sir, I can uh, give you updates again, sir. I have prepared a PowerPoint presentation if you want to see that, sir. I, I have Please submit lang po lang yes, for our uh, records. Then, Thank you, sir. Uh, if we just an advice, uh, General Torre, kindly coordinate with the uh, DFA and uh, BI with regards to the status of Eddie Young and the Pangilinan spouses. Kasi yung Pangilinan spouses is in the U.S. and Eddie Young until now, uh, BI as of siko two months ago, wala pong record that Eddie Young has uh, left the country using a uh, Filipino passport and a Chinese passport. Now, please. Sir, um... I'll approach the events uh, later on, sir, and I'll show you the latest. That uh, on the Filipino name, there's no hit, but on the Chinese name, sir, we have a hit uh, from the Bureau of Immigration. Kindly send it to po. Yes, sir. Uh, you. Now, next is you, the, to AMLAC, no? We have with us the audit report now of the COA with regards to the 79.5 million. AMLAC, 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 please take note of this, no? Concerning the 79.5 million peso purchase of lands, doon sa Mexico, Pampanga, this is, in, this is uh, 
a case being investigated by my committee, public accounts, it was referred to the Quadcom na. And uh, there is now a pending case in the Ombudsman. And uh, we need your, your action with regards to the freezing of asset of, on all those, all those uh, uh, names that was involved in this particular case and the official case is already in Ombudsman. So kindly check on this and please, lalo na po ngayon, mag election Pogo money, drug money might be used. So kindly, and update this committee no, with regards to this. I will give you in a while the copy of the Ombudsman case po yes, para you have to take action on that. Thank you, Pa. Comsec is directed to please give a copy of such document to the AMLAC. Congressman Paduano, you still have more... Last na lang po to. A question of properties, a PAO ka AMLAC. Just to remind, and, uh, uh, just to remind AMLAC and PAO, Comsec, please communicate with PAOC in regards to this. Kasi po, may request na po yung committee natin with regards to asset preservation order. Doon po sa mga properties ni Eddie Young, Willie A. Ong, Mexico 999, Yata Industrial Park, which involve hundreds and thousands of hectares of lands. And until now, AMLAC and PAOC has not yet updated with regards to this. And we need the update of such uh, action for a for an asset preservation order maybe before the next hearing please update us and please coordinate with PAO in regards to this uh, we will your honor please kasi ito lang buwan na to until now we have heard about the action being undertaken by PAO and AMLAC and update update this committee before the next hearing. Uh, we will, Your Honor. Uh, kasama rin po yung San Simon. In San Simon, Pampanga, please take note of this. And come say, kindly give all the the listed properties no, to AMLAC again, once again. Kasi nandun po sa ano is the Golden Sun 999, doon sa San Simon, Pampanga, uh, which is uh, owned by Eddie Yang and Willie Ong, all Chinese nationals. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all. Mr. Chair, shall we start? Yes, uh, we can already. The, we have already the witness uh, before the committee. But before that, may we ask the committee secretary to please administer the oath of all those present today who attended uh, for the first time. Uh, Comsec. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to request everyone, those who attended uh, for the first time, please stand. Yes, even the police officers who attended this hearing for the first time, maybe General Torre also. Okay. Uh, please Can raise your... Pati yung mga police officers that was mentioned by this representation a while ago, which has not taken their oath. Colonel Marcos, you have taken your... Colonel Pitaliano. Okay. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this public inquiry, so help you God? Sir? Yes, po. Thank you, sir. The oath has been administered. Thank you. Okay. Salamat, uh, Komsek. At uh, you may all uh, take your seats now. Now we will proceed with the committee hearing proper. Komsek, uh, uh, have we distributed copies of the affidavit of Mr. Espinosa sa ating mga members? Still being reproduced, sir. Hmm. Okay, so... Since we're still waiting for the copies to be distributed, uh, Mr. Espinosa, ikaw ba ay uh, may kasamang abogado? Yes po, Your Honor. 
Um, may I know who are the counsel of Mr. Kerwin Espinosa? Can you please enter your appearance before the committee? Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, Your Honors. Uh, uh, counsel for Roland Kerwin Espinosa, I am Attorney Mark Antonite. Respectfully appearing, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and uh, the Honorable Committee. Uh, Attorney Raymond P. Palad appearing as counsel for Roland Espinosa. Good morning, Paul. Thank you, Attorney. So, um, okay, so let us proceed. Um, siguro, uh, pwede bang uh, umpisahan mo, Mr. Espinosa, kung ano ba ang uh, yung uh, pakay? Ano ba yung uh, motibo kung bakit nandirito ka? At ikaw ay nagbigay ng sinumpaang salaysay sa committee ito. Um, ako po ay humihingi, Mr. Chair, sa opening statement ko na ginawa ko kagabi. Meron ka bang uh, opening statement? Mahaba ba yan o maiksi? Maiksi lang to, Mr. Chair. Okay, sige. Please proceed. We will allow you to... Uh, read your opening statement at pagkatapos po niyan, tayo po ay magtatanong. Uh, yes, uh, please proceed. Salamat po. Honorable Chairperson, Honorable Members of the Quadcom, magandang araw po. Una sa lahat, nagpapasalamat po ako sa kagalang-galang na Quadcom sa inyong imbitasyon sa akin. Nagagalak ako na mabigyan ninyo ako ng pagkakataon na makatulong sa inyong mga layunin. Kagaya ninyo po, gusto ko rin mabigyan ng kasagutan at hostisya ang mga nangyaring extrajudicial killing or EGK na nangyari noong nakaraang administrasyon. At kagaya nang marami naging resource person ako ang aking ama at ang aking buong pamilya ay naging biktima ng EGK masakit po para sa akin sa aming na kabulastugan po ng aking oh, kumalas na napakaraming inosenteng buhay ang ama ko po ay nag mabuting magsilbi sa aming mahal na lungsod ng Alvera. Ngunit ang kanyang mga magandang layunin ay hindi nagkaroon at kasatuparan dahil pinatay po siya. Kami sa pamilya namin at ang buong pamilya ng Alvera ay naghihumingi ng hostisya sa nangyari sa kanyang pagkamatay. Naging biktima siya sa EGK. Sana po sa pagpunta ko dito ay makatulong po ako na matuldukan na ang isyong EGK at mag mapanagot ang mga dapat managot. Matagal na po ang panahon na amin hinihintay at alam ko ang aking ama saan man siya ngayon At sumasalangit po siya, naghihintay din ng katarungan. At umihingi din po ng tulong niyo. Salamat po ulit sa pagkakataong nakadalo sa pagtitipo na ito na may makakamit namin at atin lahat ang katarungan at katotohanan sa napakasamang extrajudicial killings na nangyari sa ating bansa sa nakaraang administrasyon. Magandang araw po. Maraming salamat. Uh, okay. Are you going to read your uh, ano, yung sinumpang salaysay? Um, hindi na po. Sasabihin ko na lang po. So, uh, so uh, we have heard the opening remarks of uh, Kerwin Espinosa. So uh, we'll be uh, starting the uh, questions. No. So uh, who will be the Chairman, Mr. Chair? Uh, Dan? Yes. Um, 
to our resource person, Mr. Espinosa, other than the uh, opening remarks na binanggit mo, um, meron ako nakikitang sinumpang salaysay na pirmado mo. Uh, imbis na basahin mo po ito, okay lang po ba na maikwento mo sa amin yung naging karanasan mo at ang nangyari sa inyong buhay? Okay lang po. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, before we proceed with the uh, query, yes. po, no? uh, because uh, I, I think I, I just received this uh, abidabit, no? and uh, I'll be asking if the members have already have the copy of, of this. And uh, siguro, uh, better for him to uh, to read the uh, four pages uh, abidabit, or are we going to allow him to uh, have an executive summary about this? Um, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman uh, Dan Fernandez, I think it will be better if uh, our resource persons naturally just uh, narrate kung ano po ang uh, ipinagdaanan niya. And I'm sure yun din naman po ang magiging, ang affidavit niya ay magiging base ng kwento niya. So, uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, I submit on that, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Sige, pakituloy-tuloy ka lang, uh, Mr. Espinosa. Um, ito po ang mga nangyari sa amin at sa pamilya ko. Noong June 2016, nagbakasyon kami kasama ko ang aking pamilya at ang mga anak. Nagpunta kami ng Malaysia para magbakasyon. At sa plano ko na manirahan na doon sa ibang bansa at maghanap ng trabaho, nabalitaan ko na lang Habang nandoon ako sa Malaysia, mga last month of July, nabalitaan ko na lang yung papa ko na, na, napasama sa narkolis, sa narkolis ng ating Pangulo.